An arrest that's turned into a political crisis. Tunisia's former justice minister, Nuruddin al Beheri is in hospital after being detained last week. He's fighting for his life after refusing to eat or take his medicines for a week. His wife, Saida, says she supports what he's doing and is joining him. Yes, hunger strike with him. Either we leave together and he goes home or let them take us both in a coffin. His supporters say he's a victim of an abuse of the justice system that may have serious consequences. The life of Mr. Nouradine Beheri, the lawyer, deputy, former minister of justice and the leader of a political party that is recognized in the country, is in real danger. Beheri was arrested on Friday on what the government calls terror offenses, accused of illegally handing out official falsified documents. The interior minister says he had to act to preserve national security. This is a matter of creating and delivering nationality certificates and passports in an illegal way to people whom I will not mention. Beheri is deputy chairman of Ennahda, the largest political party in the suspended parliament. It was dismissed in July by President Kai Saeed, who has since ruled by decree while promising political reform. A sharp critic of the president and his power grab, Beheri has accused Saeed of declaring himself king. Tunisia was seen as a success story of the Arab Spring's call for greater democracy. But human rights groups say the country is lurching back towards dictatorship. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.